Not only do I guarantee that you own one of these, but you may have even used one today. I'm going to show you what this is, how it works, and by the end, you'll have the knowledge required to build one yourself. The section that probably caught your eye first was the two wooden boards that are unevenly screwed together. If we look in between them, you'll see what's called a load cell. A load cell is a device designed to measure and convert force into an electrical signal. The size of this electrical signal is proportional to the force applied. In basic terms, if I push down on the top wooden board, the load cell emits an electrical signal. The harder I push, the greater the signal. Next, I've used a solderless breadboard to build a circuit. Soldering is a basic process where two or more pieces of metal are connected by melting a filler metal called solder. Once the solder cools off, a permanent connection is created between the two pieces of metal. This is a very key concept for building electronics. If you'll imagine, building a permanent connection in order to construct the circuit leaves very little room for error. That's where a solderless breadboard becomes useful. I can experiment and test out circuit configurations without any permanent result. The circuit that I've put together connects the load cell from the first section to this HX7118 ADC or analog to digital converter. Simply speaking, this device will convert the electrical signal emitted from the load cell into a signal constructed of numbers. This makes the data much easier to analyze and use. Once the signal leaves the analog to digital converter, it is sent to this Raspberry Pi, which is just a lightweight computer. From there, I can write code to use the digital input any way I like. In this instance, I've written a program in Python that will take the digital signal and print out the force applied to the top wooden board in grams. Voila, I've built a scale, and today we're going to put it to the test against a professionally built scale. I have this 3 pound dumbbell which should weigh approximately 1.364 kilograms or 1,364 grams. To verify that the dumbbell weight is accurate, I've used the professional scale which tells me the weight is slightly less than expected at 1,356 grams. Let's see what my scale has to say. You'll notice that even with no object on top of the scale, the output isn't exactly zero. In addition, the numbers are constantly fluctuating. A major contributing factor is the lack of soldering. Because the connections between the wires aren't very secure, you'll see some interference. However, the output is still very close to zero. Once I place the dumbbell on the scale, you'll see that the output hovers around 1,356, which means that my scale seems to be at least as accurate as the professional scale. Once again, occasionally you will see an incorrect value that is way off, which mostly can be chalked up to the instability of the circuit. If you're wondering why exactly I'm building a scale in my apartment, this is a small part of a much bigger project that I'm working on. Check out this video that explains the bigger picture. 